I'm reminded of the story about the little boy. There had been a storm on the beach. Uh, we're laying all of these sand dollars that were washed in during the storm. Uh, and uh, in the morning, the little boy came down to the beach and saw the beach was strewn with all of these sand dollars and the sun was rising. And uh, he knew somehow that uh, if he couldn't get those sand dollars back in the water, they were all gonna die. So he began running up and down the beach and grabbing up sand dollars and casting them back into the water trying to save as many as he could. And as he did that, this uh, grown-up was standing on the beach and watching this whole thing unfold. And when the little boy made his way down the beach to where he was standing, he said, hey, little boy, what are you doing there? And he says, well, I'm trying to save these sand dollars, and of which there were millions of them up and down the beach. And the grown-up said to the little boy, don't you know you'll never be able to save all those sand dollars? There's too many of them, it doesn't even matter. And so the little boy reached down and he picked up a sand dollar and he threw it back in the ocean and he said, it matters to that one. And so we're, we wanna tell you of, about a way that you can save that one sand dollar, I guess, if you'd like to see it that way. We'd like to show you one way that you can save a soul. You know that the only thing that saves souls is the word of God. And the only way that they're saved is if God draws them to Jesus. But we would like to get his word out to them. It says in the Bible the, that the word of God is Jesus Christ. If we can impart the word to people and they hear it, then they will be saved, those who choose. If we can bring the Bible to military persons in or during or around their mission, when they are most heightened about their awareness of the brevity and uh, of the shortness of life, I believe that that is a time when they will hear the good news. So what we'd like to do is we'd like to ask for your help. By donating to GI Good News, your funds and your time and your resources all go to help getting those military soldiers, officers, uh, that are ones that are on the front lines, possibly, and most practically, an oppor opportunity to know Jesus Christ through the concerts that we do at strategic times just before they're deployed. And not only does that help them come to know Christ, but just like it says in Mark 13:10, that we are bringing the gospel to the nations, and that's what Christ wants us to do. He wants us to take the gospel to the nations. And what better way than through the military? Because they go out and reach the nations every day. When they're fighting Afghanistan, when they're, when they're basically coming back from Iraq right now, they're building relationships there through the civilians. They're not just fighting, they're building relationships. And when they build relationships, those that came to know the Lord can pass that on by being an ambassador for Jesus Christ in those nations. So this is where your funds will go, is to saving souls. Just like those sand dollars. You can make a difference for just one soldier if you choose to donate. On our donate page, all you have to do is click on, on donate. And then whatever God puts on your heart is, much, is greatly appreciated. And if you'd like to help in other ways, please don't hesitate to email us or call us, whichever is convenient for you. God bless you and we thank you.